which one of you guys is the lucky winner? How about you? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. As you saw in the intro, we're talking about the chicken rig today. And I don't know why every other video I've ever seen on the chicken rig doesn't involve real chickens, but I put them in there so you guys know this is a legitimate chicken rig. Uh, so in all seriousness, it's a bait, it's a technique that works extremely well. And I think as a lot of you know, I'm a huge fan of the NACO rig. And really all this is, is a weedless NACO rig. That's always what I've referred to it, but I believe people call it the chicken rig, and I'm not really sure what the name reasoning is. And if you know, throw it in the comments section. I'd love to know why it was actually called the chicken rig, but I just want to go over it quickly with you today, show you how to fish it, show you how to rig it, and when and where it excels. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you subscribe, you're entered into my monthly prize drawing giveaways for sponsored products. And, you know, there's really no reason not to. If you're watching on a regular basis, hit that subscribe button. So, guys, the chicken rig. What is the chicken rig actually? Well, the chicken rig is when you take whatever plastic worm it is that you want to use or craw. You can do it with any plastic. Whatever bait it is that you want to use, in this case, I'm going to do it with a Berkley Max Scent Hit Worm, which is one of my favorite baits to do it with. All you're going to do is make this a NACO style bait, but then we're going to hook it weedless. So in this case, what does it mean to go from, say, a wacky rig to a NACO rig? All it involves is taking some sort of nail weight and inserting it into one of the ends of your bait. So I'm going to do it. And I've talked about this in the past. I'm, I insert it on the inside of the worm versus going on the end of the worm. And I do that because my weights stay in way better. I, I lose way less worm, worm weights. So I put it in. I like to have the weight coming out a little bit on the end so that when it's going along the bottom, it clacks on the rocks. I've talked about doing that in the past in previous videos. But I think that can make a really good uh, calling motion in. So now... If I rig this wacky style, I've got technically what's considered a NACO rig. And in this case, you've got one end weighted, so when you cast it out, it falls very quickly like that, stands relatively straight up on the bottom, and then it's rigged wacky style with the hook in the middle, so you can work it like that, and just like a, a wacky rig bait. Really good presentation, catches me a ton of fish. What makes it the chicken rig now? Well, the chicken rig would be when you, instead of hooking it right through the middle, like, you know, say like that, and having your wacky rig, we're gonna take our worm hook and make this weedless. So all you're gonna do is roughly find the middle of your bait, and you can, depending where you put the hook in the worm, you can get different falls out of it. But I like to go roughly in the middle, and you're gonna hook it just like you would, you were rigging a Texas rig with whatever plastic. So you go through, pop out, you know, roughly an eighth of an inch or so, feed it down and through, up the hook shank, turn it around, and then Texas rig it, right? So now I've Texas rigged it, but it's in the middle of the worm, as you can see. But I've still got my eye sticking out, so I can, I'll tie my line there, and I've got it hooked weedless. And really, all this is going to allow you to do is work the same wacky rig bait, NACO rig style bait, along the bottom in a weedless manner. Well, guys, a lot of times that's where we're fishing, right? If you want to fish a laydown or you're fishing through stumps, this is the bait to use. It is a great presentation when working, if you want to work a wacky rig through some wood. It is extremely weedless, comes through that stuff great. And allows you to put the presentation that you want in that tree where you might not be able to do it with a normal wacky rig, exposed wacky rig hook. Even if you buy an, a wacky rig hook that's weedless with the little prongs sticking out, 
they are nowhere near as weedless as this bait. The other thing that I really like to do with this is fish grass, fish holes in the grass. And again, with a normal wacky, weedless wacky hook, that doesn't come through grass nearly as good as a Texas rig. We all know that a Texas rig is dynamite around grass. In this case, I love to pitch this into holes in the grass and I can just thread it right through and slowly work it and kind of feather it through. Like you'll find when you throw it out, you let it go in a hole, you can work it to the edge of the grass. And if you're, you, you're patient enough, you can literally kind of weed this through the grass into the next hole. Great, great presentation when fishing grass. And it's, it's a, a tip that nobody, you don't ever really hear too many people talking about. Um, so for me, a wacky rig, I've always got a wacky rig tied on. Whether it's just weightless, whether it's NACO, or whether it's the chicken rig, or what I consider a, a, a weedless NACO bait. The reason is it gets a ton of bites and allows you to fish efficiently in the strike zone areas. Like it's a, a technique that I love to do if I've got an area that I've already identified the fisher in and I've, I've been catching them with more uh, reaction style baits. If that bite goes away, I'll switch to something like this and I can work it through those same areas and almost always get an additional couple of bites. Uh, the other thing that I really like to do with this technique is to fish it through rocks. Rocks, a lot of times, you know, if I was fishing, say, a, a jig head worm, you know, which is just a, a, a jig head with a worm, like a shaky head, because that weight is, is separate from the bait, you will get stuck in rocks a lot more than you would with this bait. You know, this bait, the, the, bait, will, the bait will fall, hit, and then lay down like that it's a lot harder for it to get stuck in rock crevices when it's rigged uh, as a chicken rig versus say a, a normal shaky head. So you get the best of both worlds with a shaky head and a wacky rig, only now it's completely weedless and you've, you've got the two baits combined basically. So guys, give this a try. If you haven't tried the chicken rig, then you need to give this a try. It really does increase the number of bites and the efficiency of a wacky rig in areas that you normally wouldn't be able to fish it. It's a, it's a bait you don't hear a ton of people talk about, but I can tell you like this year at Lake Murray, several pros were throwing it and several of those pros did really, really well in the tournament, including myself, I was throwing it there too. So guys, check it out, give it a try, head out to your local water, wherever you'd normally throw a wacky rig or a NACO rig, try the chicken rig, and I think you'll find that it works just as good and it allows you to work through areas that you normally wouldn't. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Every day we got new tips and tricks coming out.